People often ask me, should I switch to Blender Mobile or should I keep using Prisma 3D? The truth is, Blender and Prisma 3D are very different. Blender is a professional 3D software used for animation, modeling, VFX, and even game development. Prisma 3D is not at that level, <laughs> not even close, but it was designed specifically for mobile phones. Blender Mobile, which you'll find on GitHub, is not an official version. It works on some devices, but Blender was built for computers. To really use it well, you need a keyboard, a mouse, and enough power to handle large projects. On a phone, the interface is cramped and the workflow is difficult. Prisma 3D, on the other hand, is optimized for mobile. It's lighter, easier to navigate, and doesn't require extra hardware. While it can't match Blender's features, it gives you a smoother and more practical experience on your phone. And that's exactly what makes it worth using. In fact, learning Prisma 3D is a great way to understand the basics of 3D modeling and animation until you get a decent PC for Blender. That's the path I'm taking myself. Prisma 3D helped me learn the fundamentals. And once I'm done with that, I'll be moving my work over to Blender. That doesn't mean you can't try both. If you prefer, you can use Prisma 3D on mobile while exploring Blender on PC, and there's always the option to experiment with Blender on Android if your device can handle it. But when it comes to mobile phones, Prisma 3D is simply more practical. So to sum it up, Blender is for professional desktop work, Prisma 3D is for mobile, and using Prisma 3D now will prepare you for Blender later. If you want to start learning today, I have plenty of tutorials on my YouTube channel to guide you through Prisma 3D step by step. That's my opinion. Just do what suits you the most. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.